Hello and welcome back to the viewers who watched my first video link in the top right hand corner and welcome to those who are new to the channel I am Mr. Pisto and this is my villager Tavin We're going to take you on a tour of three happy home paradise vacation homes today that I created myself along with the help of Tavin here So please like subscribe and hit the notification button so you can see the content that I make when it comes out the three villagers that we are going to feature in today's video are Marcel, the lovely lazy dog, Sasha, the adorable lazy bunny, and Harry, the messy, cranky hippo. Once again, remember to like, subscribe, and notify. And let's get into the first vacation home. All right, let's go. All right, the first house that we are going to in our Happy Home Paradise vacation is that of Marcel. And when he first approaches you to ask for a Happy Home Paradise vacation home, the items you get to unlock are the bamboo items, some bathroom items, a lot of the rock slash stone items, along with KK Jongara. All right, those are the items you get. Now let's make our way to Marshall's luxury bathroom with a view vacation home. Here we go. Thank you, Nico. So as you can see here, it's a very Asian inspired outside as a lot of the vacation homes that use this specific vacation island with the bamboo in the background outside of the building spot. I wanted to build this like a lot of other people do and this is how I felt a bathroom with a view should have a really cool spa feeling natural bamboo outside. The song I've chosen here for uh, Marcel's outside is Spring Both Blossoms. I really think this makes for the atmosphere um, and it merely makes the place come to life. The varied states of bamboo growth along with the moss mystery a misty atmosphere and mossy rocks with the deer scares and the bamboo items i just think it all came together to make a really cool depth of feel it's like you can feel like you're going back into his outdoor area so this is marcel's outside we're gonna go take a look at the inside, which is yet again another Asian inspired downstairs before we go to the centerpiece, which is the upstairs bathroom. All right, let's go check out the downstairs. All right, here we are in the downstairs of Marcel's luxury bathroom with a view. Uh, I was really kind of stumped as to what I wanted to do for the outside of, or the downstairs, I should say, of this happy home paradise vacation home. The upstairs was built first, and then I came downstairs and what can I do? And we went with a more brown version of an Asian bamboo theme. The walls, I used the uh, glow in the dark stickers with a custom design of a uh, window so that you can give it some kind of a view. And uh, the song here is Chill Wave because I feel like Marcel is this chill kind of guy and that it made the vibe in this room really well. As you can see behind the Nintendo Switch there is a tiger figure. I figured this is a good idea in an Asian inspired room because this year is the year of the tiger coming up. So that's pretty cool. And now we are going to wake Mr. Tavin up and head upstairs to see the centerpiece of this Asian inspired bathroom with a view. All right, Mr. Tavin, let's go up there. Here we go. All right, now we are in the upstairs of the luxury bathroom with a view. And I'm going to tell you that this is probably the most favorite build that I've ever made. It's very close to Marina's home, which you look, if you look in the top right hand corner, there's a tag that you can click on to go visit that. Uh, 
video that I made last week. And I just, I'm just in love with this place. The stale cupcake song, along with the running water from the bathtub, the dutoid that is on the wall, the deer scare, and I put a little cricket in the corner there. And when you just, when you just sit back and relax, like Marcel is doing, it is just, uh, it's just so cool. And I absolutely love it. The view that you can see when we make our way around a little bit clicker is that of the uh, patties, the rice patty view. I thought that was a really appropriate view for this bathroom. And let's just take a second and really just relax in this place while Tavin finishes on the toilet. And then we can make our way out of this luxury bathroom with a view and on to our next home. All right, let's leave this lovely place and make our way to our next home. All right, go. All right, our next happy home vacation paradise is Sasha. Sasha loves space. So when he first approaches you, he will ask you for the spaced theme items for his happy home paradise called Moonshot Manor. The main items that you unlock for Sasha and their vacation home is the space themed items along with the song Robot Synth. Let's make our way to the outside of Moonshot Manor and let's see what Sasha's vacation home looks like. Thank you once again, Nico. So here we are at Sasha's Happy Home Paradise, Moonshot Manor. The waterfall is a little bit loud, but we are at the outside. We have the song KKDNB. I just thought it was a really cool song that I think you would hear if you were in a museum with all the space items on the outside. Sasha's there enjoying their ice cream. And you can see the majority of the space items are here. I thought it was a cool idea that because I wasn't going to showcase the space items inside, I thought we would have them outside. So let's make our way into Sasha's Happy Home Paradise. We're going to start with the downstairs and it is a space themed cabin. All right, let's make our way inside. All right, here we are in the downstairs fun space themed cabin. I use that brick with the fireplace once again to give it a, a focal point. We have the cabin walls on the outside and behind the brick wall we have the starry wall. It's just one way to bring space into uh, Sasha's home without making it too overbearingly space. All the items that we could be customized are customized with the planetary themes. I really thought this fit and uh, Sasha is also a gamer and this is a place where he can edit his videos and edit the pictures that he takes from his upstairs area. They have a little bit of a walk-in closet by the front entrance, a nice butterfly, a really quaint little kitchen and uh, some stars on the wall. We're going to make our way to the upstairs and see what Sasha takes pictures of in their free time. All right, let's go upstairs and take a look. Here we go. Whee. And here it is, the focal point of Sasha's happy home paradise vacation home. We have an observatory bedroom. Sasha loves to gaze into the night sky and admire the brilliant moon. Obviously, if she he was taking pictures or looking in the sky, they would turn off their star light there by their uh, telescope. And there's the computer. I put some wires on the floor 
because I would, wanted to make the illusion that the telescope was connected to the p computer and that's where they would be taking their pictures. We got stars everywhere because Sasha just absolutely loves space. The song here is called Two Days Ago. Just something about this song that I love to listen to. And uh, you'll probably notice that over the course of my videos, uh, there'll be a certain bias towards certain songs because I just think that they're better than the rest. And among other things that I really do in my buildings is use the fake walls along with the accent walls and the pillars to create an interesting uh, atmosphere and an interesting different wallpapers because you can't do a lot with just the accent wall, but you can do a lot when you use the partition walls and the uh, pillars. So I think it just adds a cool touch and you can add some variety in many different ways in your vacation homes. This was Sasha's Happy Home Paradise Moonshot Manor. Let's make our way to the final vacation home of the video. All right, wake up, Tavin. Time to go. Get up. All right, our last home of the video is that of A Messy Manor by Harry. And when he first brings his lovely mug up to you and asks for your assistance in creating a happy home paradise, he asks you for a messy manor. It was a very interesting concept to build, I think, because you didn't have to make everything look amazing. You could make things dirty and make things unorganized. And that was really cool. The items that you get to unlock when you first get Harry are the sloppy set, a bunch of the garbage items that you can fish up, along with all the desktop televisions, and the song KK Lament. It's time to go and look at this mess of a vacation home for the last home of our video. Let's make our way to the outside. Thanks again, Nico. The last house of the day, I promise. All right, let's take a look. So here we have, for the outside of our vacation home, I made an unkept outdoor dock area. A broken down car, wires there, toolbox there, ready to try and fix it up and give it some paint with the paint job. We have some snacks and some food on the ground. Lots of weeds, just a general mess. Tires all over the place. Dirty laundry hanging on the laundry machine. Some really cool banners out on the uh, docks, which I thought was really fun. I picked the song KK Song because it reminds me of something in a derpy uh, setting where you're kind of just wallowing around. And that's kind of what Harry's home is. There's a poor little crumploid that has obviously been neglected and in a state of repair. A poor little thing. It's just an out white mess, mushrooms everywhere, piles of leaves, flowers that are half grown. And it's just, this is what the mess is. So if you think the outside's a mess, let's continue on this journey and head inside to Harry's messy manor. All right, now for the downstairs of Harry's messy manner from the mess continues <laughs> on the inside of this home i feel that the sloppy furniture really shines in a build like this and gives you the opportunity to make something that is very messy i think it's obvious that harry doesn't like the clean um, he's been able to catch one little bug if you see it there beside his kitchen table but if you can see on the ground by the garbage bags and by the model kits there's more to be found with these messy little bugs all over the place. This happens when you don't clean your dishes or do you take out your trash. The song playing here is his song, KK Lament. And I use this because the name, I think sometimes you get to the point where you lament the mess that you have and it just gets so far gone that you just can't clean up. You just don't want to clean up. And I think Harry has made it there, although he does look very happy eating that fish on the table. Um, I think it's time for Harry to start making some changes. Looks like 
by the tires there. He does have some cleaning supplies, but I guess he just doesn't want to use them. One thing that I thought the room needed was a little bit of a breakup. That's why I put those four pillars in the middle, and that really gives it a sense of that's the kitchen and cleaning or the uh, garbage side, and this is kind of the living room slash work area. So that's the downstairs of Harry's happy home paradise vacation home in the messy manor. Let's go and make our way to the upstairs so you can see and get some inspiration for what you might want to do for Harry in the upstairs of a happy home paradise vacation home. So the upstairs is kind of just a continuation of the downstairs. Mess everywhere. It's obviously that he's hard at work, but the mess is just, it's something. Both the upstairs and the downstairs, it seems that Harry's planning something because of all those scattered papers on the ground, but it just, it's a mess. Song here we have, just like Sasha, is two days ago. This time I picked it because of the name because it's so unfitting for uh, Harry's environment. You should have started cleaning up two days ago. I used a locker instead of a dresser. I thought it was appropriate for the time and the theme and the place of this building. Both upstairs and downstairs include the ocean soundscape because of the location that is so close to the ocean. And if you notice, this is not the biggest area I could have made the room probably twice as big as this, but sometimes it's nice to make something small and not having to feel like you're so overwhelmed with a giant space. So something that I like to do every once in a while is make the space small and keep it compact. It just feels like you're not overwhelmed with all the different things that you might need to try and do. So this was our vacation homes for today's video. Like, subscribe, and notify if you are enjoying this content. We're going to try to make videos about once a week. And yeah, let's do a little outro. Say goodbye to Tavin. And then we will be on our merry way. All right. Let's say goodbye. All right. Thank you all for coming on this tour with Tavin and I. We hope to see you again on the next one. Please take this time to like, subscribe, and notify if you have not already. It's a great way to make sh keep co keep content coming. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. From Mr. Pisto and Tavin, take care, stay safe. Bye for now.